Hello, YouTubers of the Matches the Gathering community. YG and Bosch are coming at you with part two of the M12 booster box opening. In the last video, we pulled our first mythic, which is Chanda the Firebrand. I changed the camera setup, the light setup, and I did uh, empty out my camera. So, moving on to our first pack. A Grand Abolisher, I think is this guy's name. Which I've never actually pulled. I, well, actually, I pulled them once back, like, uh, when the box was first released. Yeah, see, now I can get closer to the camera, too. And it's a little more comfortable. So we got the Worm's Tooth, Hunter's Insight, Fireball, and we have a Garux Horde, which actually is reprinted in uh, M14. So it's a 7 cost for a 7-7 seven, seven Trample. Play at the top card of your library revealed. You may cast the top card of your library if it's a creature card. Do this any time you can cast that creature card. You still play at the spells cost, so it just allows you to play cards from your deck as well as your hand. Which isn't too bad, but personally, I don't know. I don't think that's that great of a, a reprint for M14. Though... I do like that they brought back slivers, so tell me what you guys think about the slivers in the comments. So we got Kite Shield, Crimson Mage, Spirit Mantle, and Soren's Vengeance. Plus we also have a Foil Dusk Hunter Bat. But Mr. Soren's Vengeance is a 7 cost sorcery. Soren's Vengeance deals 10 damage to target player, and you gain 10 life. So, eh, pretty much a game finisher. I've seen a lot of decks that run that during Standard, and it was, like, just the late game finisher. Like, they used it as backup. They didn't actually use it as, like, a three or four copies. Good old Mana Leak in there. Rampant Growth on Summon. Mana Leaf, Some pretty good cards. The Alluring Siren. Buried Ruin. I was actually hoping for some of these. The Acidic Slime. And our rare is the Frost Titan. So Mr. Frost Titan here is a 6 cost 6-6 six, six giant. And whenever Frost Titan becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless its control plays 2. And whenever Frost Titan enters the battlefield or attacks, tap target permanent. It doesn't untap during its control's uh, next untap step. So he's just like the lockdown guy. Uh, Grave Titan and Primeval Titan were uh, highly sought after in this set, not Frost. Infernal was okay, and Sun was, you know, okay. Sun and Infernal were kind of both equal. Frost was the least wanted Titan out of this entire set. Wow, we're getting, like, no foils in here. But, whatever. So, we got this Senra Vampire. Levitation, Combust, and a Primordial Hydra. Wow, so we're getting all the Mythics together. But Primordial Hydra is a pretty good one. It's a 2x cost for a 0, zero Hydra. Primordial Hydra enters the battlefield with x 11 one, one counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, double the number of 1-1 one, one counters on Primordial Hydra. Primordial Hydra has trample as long as it has 10 or more 1-1 one, one counters on it. So this is really big. He's actually one of the more expensive uh, mythics in the set. I think the most expensive one goes for 15 right now, and that's like Jace. But he's pretty good. Putting him in uh, Dungrove Green as another win condition. Oh, so we got a Sphinx of Uth, and that's pretty cool. He's a 7 cost for a 5-6 Sphinx with flying. And when Sphinx of Uthin enters the battlefield, reveal the top 5 cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into the graveyard. So, not bad. He was, he's the... No, wait, no. He was the blue intro pack card. Never mind. Not uh, Jin. He was 2011. Oh, Gideon's Lawkeeper. I'm kind of aiming for Gideon in this set because I've never actually had Gideon. But, whatever. Hunter's Insight, Bell Tower Sphinx, Timely Reinforcements, and Pentavis. So that um, Pentative token we saw belongs to him. So he's a 7 cost, 0 0 construct. Pentavis enters the battlefield with 5 1 1 counters on it. 
tap 1, remove a 1-1 one, one counter from Pentifus, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Pentative artifact uh, creature token with flying onto the battlefield, and once sacrifice it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Pentifus. So he can keep separating into tokens, or he can just build himself back up. But he doesn't have flying, remember that. Hmm. Hoping for some more foils here. Even a foil land would be nice. Just foil something. Rusted Sentinel. Vampire Outcasts. Timely Reinforcements. And we got a Gideon's Avenger. So, it's a Gideon card, not Gideon himself. But it's a 3 cost uh, for a 2-2 two, two human soldier. Whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Gideon's Avenger. So yeah, Gideon and Gideon's Lawkeeper tapped creatures. So he would, they would uh, partner up with Avenger and then buff him up, making him a pretty big card. So not too bad. I'm really hoping though that Gideon is with him in the set. We already pulled three Mythics, so chances of getting Gideon are pretty low. So we got Swiftfoot Boots, Onyx Mage. Tectonic Rift and a Quicksilver Amulet. So it's a 4 cost artifact. For 4 and tap it, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. This is used a, a while with um, Blightsteel Colossus and stuff, but Quicksilver Amulet is more used in Commander because of the big creatures. And having 5 mana out isn't too hard. Not with a 100 card deck. 5 cost is kind of like your average creature. There are a lot of like one ones and stuff in it too, but uh, Rock Egg, Crumbling Colossus, uh, Diabolic Tutor. It's trying to recognize his face for some reason on my camera, and Day of Judgment, destroy all creatures for four. It can't be any more simple than that. This just you know field wipe. Awesome card though. Okay, this card used to be a rare, by the way. It's the Sarah Angel, Goblin Bang Chuckers, Stinger Fling Spider, and Reverberate. So it's a two-cost instant copy. Target insert sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. Hmm. It was an okay rare, I guess. It just switches cards. So in a burn deck, all it would do is, you know. Target a new card with a copy of that spell. So, it's not that amazing. Is that a token? Okay, cool. I think I'll separate the tokens before I get to the rares. Just so I can go over them a little better without having a gap. So, we got another Rock Egg. Kraken's Eye. Smallpox. And our rare is Monomania for 5. It's in a sorcery. Target player chooses a card in his or her hand and discards the rest. This is actually a really good card during standard at the time. Not much else on that one. It's just better than Wits End and M13. Ooh, a foil overrun. That's pretty sweet. It's open for some more Dungrove green stuff. Ooh, almost kind of gave away the rare. Though so we saw the uncommon before, it's a red. So we got Carnage Worm, Dragon's Claw, Combust, and the rare is. Oh no, there's the other Titan. Inferno Titan. So it's a 6 cost for a 6 6 giant. Tap 1, uh, he gets 1 0 until the end of turn, so fire breathing. And whenever Inferno uh, Titan enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals 3 damage divided as you choose among 1, 2, or 3 target creatures and or players. So he's not bad. He's just after standard kind of rotated out of using M12. He kind of died down. He was used in so many decks as well. It was crazy. He was used in any deck that used red. But now it's kind of like, oh, Inferno Titan... What's that card do? So we got a Zor Mage, Elite Vanguard, Demon's Horn, and our rare is a Rune Scar Demon, so the black intro pack card. So it's a 7 cost for a 6 6 flying demon. 
by the way. When Runescard Scar Demon enters the battlefield, search your library for a card and put it into your hand in the shelf of your library. Mmm. Not the best card for searching, but it is a way to get uh, cards. And during standard, the time wasn't too bad. And if you do drafting, once again, it's not a bad card. So that is part two of the booster box openings. Stay tuned for part three. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And tell me if you guys like these retro pack openings.